guys welcome back to my channel hello to all my new and old subscribers so today I'm going to be doing my two-week wait symptoms and I'm pretty excited about um, this month which I don't even know what cycle I think this is cycle five hold on let me look A cycle four okay mm. okay so I'm hoping everybody had a great Christmas and all that good stuff um, I'm in the process of taking my tree down even though it doesn't look like it but I am um, so let's see here so I literally did pretty much two weeks of symptoms okay so so ever as you know you know I've been taking the pink stork fertility um, I stopped drinking the tea at least three days before ovulation, which it does say stop drinking before ovulation. I stopped drinking it three days before ovulation just because it kind of got harder for me to drink it, you know. So I stopped drinking it. Okay, so I started doing uterus massages, um, which is just something that I saw on Google to like help loosen up, you know, um, if you know I do have endometriosis just to loosen things up and get blood flowing through the uterus and all that good stuff uh, it made me feel really light like after I did the massage I felt really light felt really good I had a lot of bowel movements the next day so that's how I knew it worked you know it was doing whatever it was supposed to do and I started doing a castor oil pack, but as y'all know, I am not consistent whatsoever. So I was supposed to, you're supposed to do them at least three days in a row or every other day for three days. I just did it that day and that was it. So yeah. So the next day after I did the castor oil pack, I did have some slight cramping and I had chunky discharge and that was pretty much it. And also this month, I was being really consistent with the OPKs, which reminds me I need to order some more because I need some more. So on the 14th of December, we baby danced. Um, my OPK was low, considered low that day. The 15th uh, of December, I actually went to a Christmas party and did some drinking. And I was glad that it didn't interfere with anything because I did want I did want to drink. Um, and I don't I don't drink, so you know this was my pass. Okay, um, the 16th, um, my OPK was still low. The 17th, I had sore ovaries. I don't know why my ovaries were sore, but no, actually I do know why my ovaries were sore. I actually had a uh, high OPK that day. So maybe it's cause I was beginning to ovulate. Um, and later that day, yeah. Okay, and so I record my OPKs on Thermometer, so it gives you like a pretty accurate, like if you're high, low, whatever the case may be. Um, so it was a 44 that day according to Thermometer. I was actually worried that I wasn't going to ovulate this month just because it was getting so close to the, to the day and I wasn't seeing anything on the sticks. And I was like, shoot, am I going to ovulate? And just to reiterate, I had been taking the fertility pills ever since the second day of my cycle that month. So by now I've been taking them for maybe two weeks. Okay. Okay. So I did um, on the 18th which my predicted ovulation date was on the 19th, but on the 18th, I did have an OPK um, peak. It was at 123 at 12 p.m. I was bloated, I had sore, sore ovaries and cervix. Um, regardless of that, I still baby danced. Um, and I had right side cramping that morning, some acid reflux, which is not new for me. And yeah. So December 19th was my predicted ovulation day. I had some trapped gas, okay? So I had really bad side pain at like 3 a.m. I had, went, like got up and went to the bathroom to pee and released that pressure. And it hurt so much worse than before. And um, it was really painful. Like trapped gas should not be that, that freaking painful, but it was. 
but we, we did baby dance on the 19th and let's see the 20th so the 20th is technically two days past ovulation because I believe I did ovulate on the 18th and not the 19th so on the 20th I was just bloated and gassy okay the 21st I had a slight aching or tiredness it doesn't say where but I do sit down all day because I work from home so that could be from what it is and of course I had my mood drop I always have my mood drop um, after ovulation so that's nothing new I did have some nipple soreness I also had this with prenatals so I didn't look too much into it and that's okay yeah December 22nd four days past ovulation I had sore nipples but they were less sore than they were yesterday I did have some breast soreness on the right side so I usually have breast soreness like on the left right here but this time it was over here and this boob never gets sore so I was pretty excited about that um, my mood was better I had a bowel movement with a little constipation so the closer I get to my next period the looser my bowel movements become I call it period shits but <laughs> this one was a little more difficult to pass so there was that I had back pain I had bladder pains and I had chest pains that could just be from anxiety though so December 23rd this my nipple soreness was gone I had a mood drop at 2 p.m. so when I say mood drop it's like my mood can be like an on and off switch so it's like one minute I'm fine the next minute I'm just not you know I'm not with it anymore um, I was tired and I was cold sleepy and chest pains and I had a burning feeling in my breast okay December 24th we are at 6 DPO so I had dry mouth at 8.30 a.m. Along with that dry mouth, I had a metallic taste, almost like a mouth burn. So, the funny thing is, I had read something somewhere, or I was watching YouTube or something, and somebody said something about a metallic taste being a sign of pregnancy. And then it's like the next day, I had this metallic taste in my mouth, and I was like, what in the world? What kind of mind tricks is my mind, body, whatever, playing on me? But I thought it was because I had like a whole bag of these um, Cape Cod jalapeno chips. So I thought maybe I did burn my mouth and my mouth was just being like sensitive and it just, you know, felt funny or something. Didn't look too much into it. Um, I was gassy. I kept having foot pain, which was weird. And either my stomach was griping or I was cramping. I honestly couldn't tell the difference. I had chest pain still. Um, sore breast just a little bit and a twinge on my right side and it was pretty strong it was like a like a pulsing twinge almost okay so december 25th 7 dpo i still have this metallic taste in my mouth so now i know you know by this time i know it's not from the jalapeno chips because my mouth didn't even feel like it was burned or anything i had dry mouth constipation bladder slash butt cramps but I had no boob soreness, which made me upset. Um, so that was that. December 26th, 8 DPO. I had a bowel movement. I was still constipated. And usually, like I said, usually this, this point of the month, I'm not constipated because I get the, the PSs, okay? Um, I had slight right breast pain. Light, slight right breast pain. Um, slight dry mouth, slight metallic taste, and I had bladder pains only when I had to pee. So when my bladder was full, it would kind of cause me to ache or cramp a little bit. Um, I was cold and I had some cramping that night. December 27th, 9 DPO. I had one sore breast when I woke up. Um, it didn't last all day. Dry mouth, metallic taste, Still present I had a bowel movement I was still slightly constipated I was in a down mood 
actually had a breakdown that day. <sighs> Anyways, um, that night I could not sleep for some reason. I could not sleep at all. I had to get up and I like fixed me a whole plate of food and ate it at 1 a.m. Um, I had a sour taste in my mouth after brushing my teeth, almost like, you know, how you brush your teeth and drink orange juice. And it's like that sour aftertaste. That's what it tasted like. And then I had a slight cramping that night. December 28th, this is 10 DPO. So I had slightly sore breast. I had a foot pain. And the foot pain was like a, like a shooting pain in the arch of my foot. And you know, that can be taken from, you know, I need better arch support in my shoes, but I had literally not been out the house since the 25th, so I haven't been wearing shoes since the 25th. Um, dry mouth, metallic taste still present. Nausea, I did, I, I did get nauseous that day. I had very watery mouth, and I don't know. It was just weird. Um, I was tired, I was cold. What does that say? Oh, more noticeable soreness in my breast with touch, which I was super excited about this. Because breast soreness is really my only indication of something different. Okay, so I was really excited about that. Weird vaginal spasms. I honestly don't even remember what that felt like. Gagging, like after I eat and then my mouth would start to water really bad. And I would start to gag uh, foot pain still present and it was only in my, in my left foot so <sighs> all right december 29th metallic taste in my mouth i had insomnia sore breast more so and this was both my breasts were really sore right here on the sides so i was like yes sore breast and i had a headache when i woke up that day so that was 11 dpo this is a lot. Um, December 30th, I had insomnia, sore breast, belly button pain. So I had like this weird feeling above my belly button. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a knuckle, just like pressing. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I can't describe it. Um, metallic taste present boob pain spreading so it was on the side but then it actually started to go for my right boob it started to go under my boob but the left boob it was just on the side um let's see chest pressure and chest pain that's probably just anxiety so i like i said not looking too much into it um december 31st sore breast cramping last night i'm sharp sharp cramping and stomach oh yeah I think I ate my food too fast and I just my stomach was like cramping up because it was having a hard time digesting it or something I had a metallic taste still present in my mouth light cramping dry throat dry mouth I was cold I was tired I cried a lot that day and I just felt really unhappy and really down so I had like at least four days of feeling like just complete and utter waste of time. I just felt like I was a waste of time and I just felt really down. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good about this cycle. I will be doing a live pregnancy video like tomorrow. So look out for that. Yeah, I'm really excited, but at the same time I'm really nervous because I don't know if these like breast pain symptoms and stuff are just from me taking the pink stork this month or whatever the case may be, which I'll do an update on uh, taking the pink sort for a month because there are some updates that I wanted to throw out there. And yeah, the next video you will see will be another live pregnancy test. And I'm super excited, but I'm not trying to get, you know, too ahead of myself. Um, so, all right, y'all watch out for that video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.